Hello, on today's video we're going to talk about what magnetism is. Magnetism is an invisible force. It is a property of certain minerals that are found in the earth. The earth is so full of these minerals that the earth itself is a giant magnet. That's what makes a compass point north. A compass is a magnet that is free to move. When we keep some iron fillings above a magnet like this, the magnet makes the iron fillings form a pattern called a magnetic field. Even the earth has a magnetic field. Only three metals can become a magnet or be attracted to a magnet. They are iron, nickel and cobalt. Now the earth is a magnet because it has molten iron and nickel at its core. And because of the spin of the earth, the electrons are arranged straight to form a magnet. So the earth has its own magnetic field that stretches way out into space. Now let's say that one of these type of cars is an electron in a magnet. So the arrangement of the electrons in the magnet would be straight and it would have a north pole and a south pole. Now we are going to talk about the discovery of the magnetic compass. In the year 1820, a Danish scientist, Christian Orsted, was giving a lecture in a classroom. He noticed that a magnetic needle kept on the table was pointing in the north-south direction. He was surprised. On looking closely, he found that the needle was kept near a wire carrying current. When he took the needle away from the wire, it start, started pointing in the north-south direction. He brought the needle near the wire once again and noticed that it deflected. So he concluded that there is a magnetic field around the wire carrying current. Have you ever wondered what a magnetic compass is? Well, a magnetic compass has a magnetic needle pivoted at its center. The magnetic needle will always point in the north-south direction. Now we're going to talk about what an electromagnet is. An electromagnet is a material that becomes a magnet when current is passed through it. Now before ending this video, I would like to tell you one more law about magnetism. The law is that opposites of a magnet always attract. And the same sides or the same poles of a magnet always repel. 